How you doing everybody? Daniel here, Mr. Querble Racing. We'll start off with, uh, uh, if you uh, haven't subscribed, go ahead and uh, check out that if you, if you can, if you like. Um, like, comment on the videos if, uh, if you need some answers to uh, specific other items or uh, questions concerning uh, other uh, input or videos you want to, uh, to see. Um, that being said, uh, today we're going to talk about oil, drain plug, uh, repairs, fixes, and um, why it, why they're stripping out, why guys are having such a problem stripping out the uh, the threaded part of the case for the, uh, the oil drain plug. Um, this is a really common issue. These threads get tore out. Um, this one's fine. I did a, do a repair earlier today on one, and that's kind of why I'm doing this video. So, to start off, in the book, uh, if you guys don't have a service manual, I really recommend getting one for your bike. A lot of useful engine in here, uh, info in here about your engine and, and bike chassis and everything else. This is on the page of the uh, uh, Torque Specs uh, 2-16, and on the bottom here we see... Uh, engine drain bolt crankcase and drain bolt for the oil tank. So if you look across here in the index that is uh, under foot pounds and we're seeing 17 foot pounds for the uh, the crankcase. Um, that's really easy to over tighten with the uh, with the size bolt that they uh, they supply on these engines because normally this size you're using a uh, a half inch drive or a long wrench to uh, to go on there so um, that's one of the things that's going on uh, the the main problem is basically this crush washer from Yamaha it gets flattened out and if you don't change that crush washer it doesn't give you a really uh, good feedback on on how tight you're torquing that uh, that bolt so every oil change recommend changing that crush washer i believe they're about two bucks and you do have to pry them off the bolt once they're all smashed down but um that's uh that's what i really recommend doing and it will help uh not have this problem so so the repair for this i did today i use a, a product called a uh, time cert uh, time Cert Company. It's a uh, 14 by uh, 1.5. Come on, video. There you go. 14 by 1.5 is the uh, size, and there's no longer a kit number on this. But basically, this product is a uh, a solid insert. So much like a uh, the process of installing a uh, hilly coil. Except this is a solid insert that's not going to separate or wind out or or uh, have any problems. This is a permanent fix, permanent solution. So they um, come on. You have a few different tools here. Basically, you drill, and then you uh, use this tool to. Uh, to counter bore for this uh, this outer ridge and of course tap they have a tap guide that goes with that and um, and then this is a final set for the uh, insert that basically uh, spreads the final thread the final thread is not fully machined on these so this spreads that final thread and locks it in but that's how I repair them. That's how I recommend to repair them um, for a, a lifelong uh, repair. But basically, what we're gonna do today is uh, see how many turns. Uh, I have my torque wrench already set um, at the proper torque spec. So we're gonna see how many, uh, how many or how much of a turn off of just hand tight that this bolt uh, is required with a new crush washer on it. So, gonna thread it in by hand. I just snug by hand. I already got my torque wrench set. We're at a, uh, this is an inch pounds wrench, so we're at uh, 204. 
Um, let me back that back off. Okay, I'm gonna start in um, three o'clock position and see what we get. so hot okay so we're already uh, three-quarter of a turn in we haven't uh, got to the right torque spec yet let's see if this keeps going okay so almost so almost three quarters of a turn, not quite. This is a substantial amount of torque on this on this bolt. Normally, uh, normally I don't tighten them that tight uh, because of the uh, because of the issues there of them stripping. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a small ratchet on the socket and see uh, see how tight it is by hand. If you if you take a ratchet and you just palm it, where basically you're putting your index finger up against the socket, that's going to reduce the amount of torque that you can put on a uh, on a fastener by reducing the leverage. So as that is right now, the strength of my of my wrist at that location, I can't I can't move that bolt anymore. So. Um, if I go out further, I can get a little bit of turn on it at you know where the handle is on this bolt. So if if you tighten in in this uh, this drain bolt palm and that ratchet, um, that's going to get you pretty close to uh, to full spec on there. And in my opinion, that specs uh, a little uh, a little high for that material. But that's it for today. Um, we do these repairs uh, locally uh, if needed. Um, you can pick up that kit online. It works really well. That's what I recommend to do for a uh, lifelong repair. But, all right, thanks for watching, guys.